Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. It's Tisha and today we are going to do a full review of the Sunshine Mimosa Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candle. Now I know typically you don't see me do a review on a single candle. Um, I typically haul them, um, talk about them in the haul, and then I kind of come back as a post burn review and talk about the candle as I've completely used it. Because typically for me, I don't burn and put it back in my collection. I kind of burn it through the whole candle. So by the end of that candle, I have a lot of thoughts. But I don't know if you guys have all seen this, but I saw a lot of people on Instagram and then a few videos. I know Kimber did a video or not Kimber, Kimball did a video and I know Tina Marie mentioned it a couple times in her videos um, that these candles were being recalled in some places uh, due to like a fishy off smell and some bad maybe possible like the rubber in the lid um, or you know maybe they weren't cured correctly before they were sent out so I had already bought these I tip actually I exchanged them so I was going to take a few I had picked four that I had repeated so I had already burnt the first one and they just weren't must-haves for me to have a second one so I thought I would take them back just to see if there were some new ones out that I could try because I can't pay that $24.50 I just cannot and all my store had was a display of sunshine mimosa so I decided because I did think this was going to be the fun sassy summer sister to champagne toast that I needed two of them so I have began burning one this one I've burnt for about four hours and then this one is completely fine intact and I have not quite decided what I'm going to do so I'm going to kind of go over all of my thoughts on this candle any comparisons I found in my collection and then just overall if I feel like it's one that you need to run out and buy or if this is one that you need to have backups of that type of thing so I'm going to start with my favorite part of this candle and that is the packaging I know that probably tells you what this review is going to be like, but this packaging is so beautiful. It drew me in. I love the ombre effect of these colors. They're so summer to me. Um, this bright orange lid is really cute. And like I said, this just looked like something I definitely wanted to have out for decor. So that's my favorite part of this candle. <laughs> On cold, I will tell you, it's about an eight out of 10. It's very, it does not smell like champagne toast to me. Um, the notes are bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus with natural essential oils. And I know I, I wanted to see, I didn't have one, but I wanted to like compare this to a sunwash citrus because I wondered if without the drink note, if it smelled similar to that, because I've had that in body care and I have it in body care. But when I compared the spray with this spray, I didn't really feel like they were comparable, but sometimes candles are different. So I wanted to compare that one, but I do not have it. Um, but when I smell it on cold, it's the strongest that this candle will ever be for you. So when you smell it, take that into consideration. Um, so I was going to share the batch codes with you. And actually, I have two different batch codes. I bought them on the same day, like literally stacked like this. But I don't really understand batch codes. But I know that a lot of people were checking them once they heard about the bad candles. So I thought I would include that in this video. Um, candle that I've burnt is 1054AGA6. Candle that I have not burnt is 1053AGAA. So, and I haven't decided if I'm keeping this just because I love the packaging or if I'm going to return it because, like I said, it is kind of a low performer. So, let's get into that. So, on cold, it's an eight. I smelled it in store just because I was super curious. I have been trying to limit that because of COVID and everything, I'm going in with a mask. I'm not trying to touch everything. Um, but this one, I was just so curious because a lot of people had gotten this collection, just the body care part, which I do think is different. Um, and so it was already starting to get a little bit of hype. So when I saw the candle and when I saw the display, I went just for the candle. Um, I did pick up my trial size for the month with my coupon and this really cute, look at this, it's like a miniature, big bottle of the fine fragrance mist and this is supposed to be like out for mother's day maybe for a sale i've seen on instagram but the girl actually switched it out for me at the register she goes do you want this cute bottle at the top and i was like heck yeah i do even though you get a half ounce less but that's okay i have plenty so um i do think there's a difference between body care scent notes and throw and the longevity of the scent and a candle so i don't compare typically same sense within like a candle and a body care but with this scent i was just very curious with what was going on so 
Um, in this candle on cold, I definitely can pick up the champagne note. Um, it's a very effervescent, very fizzy, um, almost soda-like. It's very fizzy and the citrus is low. And I think that's why I would prefer like a champagne toast because it has a few fruit notes. So it makes that drink note not seem like you're burning like a club soda candle, if you know what I'm saying. Like you pretty much just get the drink note in this candle for me personally burning. I burnt it for four hours in this office right here. It is a very small room. Um, I don't have the measurements, but I would say like double size of a typical bathroom. And I couldn't smell it in here with the candle. I left and come back. I didn't pick up any scent in the room. I had to pretty much, I had it sitting over here and I had to get about this far away from it to pick up a little bit of that drink note. Wasn't strong at all. So on cold, I gave it like an eight out of 10, but on burning, I say like a five out of 10. Um, and the throw, I would say even like maybe like a four out of 10. It was pretty light. It was pretty much not throwing. You had to get up right on that candle to even smell it. So I'm not sure if other people are having that experience, but that is what I experienced. I had no wallflower plugs going, no other candles. So it was just this bad boy and I couldn't smell you. So I don't know what you were doing today, but super underperforming for me. I've only had a few candles like in all of this time I've been burning that have smelled so light that I was like, why even bother, you know, like, and again, this was my first burn. So it most likely won't get better in time. I think I will burn it one more time because every once in a while I'll have someone tell me that theirs gets better. Um, so I am going to burn it at least one more time, but if it's nothing, then I may return it. And I rarely do that, but I just like the packaging. So I don't know. Um, I just don't know. I'm not sure about this one. This one is for me, it's definitely not a repurchase. I would not, if I would have only got one, I wouldn't have cared about the other one. Um, I, I wouldn't have cared about backing it up. I just like the packaging. Um, but that's not a reason to keep something. I mean, I don't know. I may just finish it because it's not like a bad smell. If it puts off like a perm smell or like a burning awful rubber smell, I would absolutely return it. But just the no smell almost is about the same amount of bummer for me than, um, a bad smell because you're just, doing it for no reason. I mean, it's not letting off anything. It doesn't have any of that luminary effect, so it's not super pretty burning. It's just plain white wax. So um, there's no gradient effect. So there's nothing there visually for me to burn this and also nothing for me scent wise. So I don't know, again, maybe I have a bad batch in terms of that. And some people have gotten super strong ones. I'm totally believable that, or believe that that could be the case. But for me, I was glad it didn't smell bad, but I also was sad it didn't smell like anything. But I did want to compare, and I'm just comparing them to my cold, um, to the one on cold that I haven't burnt, because I think the, the scent changes just a little bit once you've burnt it. So I grabbed a few um, of my backups that I kind of thought maybe it could smell like that. So I'm going to go from four to one, and I think it will actually surprise you. So I know this is a silly one, but I grabbed Tutti Fruity Jelly Beans because I know a lot of people say this is basically champagne toast. The notes are sweet jelly beans mixed berry sugared lemon. That's a citrus note, so I thought, I don't know, maybe. But when I smell this, this has too much sweet, too much sugar, too much candy. So it is really the four out of the four I'm choosing. So it's ranked number four in terms of a similar scent, but I was still on the hunt. So Tutti Fruity Jelly Beans is not it. Then I grabbed a champagne toast and I just had this one. I have a white burn one somewhere, but this was the one I found first. And the notes on this are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine, which is citrus with essential oils. But when I smell them, and I mean, I've did this for a little bit. I really wanted to bring you guys a full review. It's this one has on cold, not burning. It does have more of a floral scent that's not listed in the notes, but that that's what separates these two for me. This is straight up drinky fruity. This is no fruity, drinky, but like more floral to me. And there's, it's a light note, like a petals or um, dewy petals, not like a rose or anything like that. But that, when I smelled it on coal, I can pick that up a little bit, but, and I thought maybe it was just the perfume of the scent, um, but definitely not champagne toast. So this was actually number three, a little bit closer because I had a drink note, but definitely not a dupe or even like a sister candle. So next, I know this is weird. 
I thought of A Thousand Wishes, which A Thousand Wishes I thought of because it does have the champagne. So I was like, well, maybe it's like this, like this is perfumey to me and it has a drink note. And this one kind of smells perfumey to me and cold and has a drink note. So maybe, right? And it's a little closer, but with those added, um, sorry. So I was saying with th this one having the sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, almond cream, and this one also having the champagne, I thought maybe these could be summer sassy drink friends. And um, the champagne is similar. And then, like I said, there's a floral similarity, but this one has that almond cream and it just gives it a more sophisticated scent. So it's a little closer than champagne toast, I will tell you, in the candle form, a little bit closer. I really do think that this one um, reminds me more of what Sunshine Mimosa smells like than champagne toast, which I just know it's been compared a lot to champagne toast, but I really feel like this one's actually a little bit closer. But actually, surprisingly, the candle that smells the most like it is raspberry tangerine, which doesn't have a drink note. But the note, the fruit notes in here are a little bit lower. Um, so it has wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, lemon zest. None of them are strong fruit scents. These are all a lighter fruit scent mixing together. Um, I haven't burnt this one, so I don't know if it's also going to be a low performer. I'm not sure. And I mean, just as a side note, Bath & Body Works needs to get that together because all these candle companies, like these uh, small business companies I've been trying, their candles are blowing these out of the water. So it makes me sad because I have always been a fan of Bath & Body Works and I will always continue to buy Bath & Body Works, but their prices keep going up and their sales keep going up and I keep getting really kind of meh underperforming candles. So just a tiny rant, but they just need to do better. I mean, the packaging is always like amazing, but when you go to burn it or you collect like we do and you get backups, then you gotta take all these back to the store. And I hate it. I do not love to return things. So I really wanna like it when I have a hunch and it's only on me when I don't like it. But anyway, so this one actually, one more smell. I know I've been doing that a lot. I hope that's not an annoying noise for you guys. Yeah, I think the citrus note in this is in this candle. And I think that's why I find a similarity here. Definitely not dupes, definitely not sisters, but definitely cousin candles here. So um, this, I think it's the citrus note is the same. Um, and maybe the lemony zest citrus note that they use in this candle is in this candle because I really do find them to be a little bit similar. So my thoughts on Champagne Mimosa are... It's beautiful packaging. The body care is awesome. Like I really do like this body care. It's like lingers and it stays on my skin for a while and it's gonna be, I'm gonna get it and everything for the body care. But as a candle, I have to say, I wanna try a one wick cause like I said, I just really like the packaging. But as this three wick, it's just, the hype is not there for me. Um, it's just okay. I would not repurchase this if I didn't have a backup. Um, and I don't think it's one you have to run out and get. So if you have a bunch of new candles on your list and you need to make a cut, those are my thoughts. I'm never going to tell you what to buy. Uh, you guys are always so supportive of me in the comments. And so I would never say don't buy anything, but, um, those are my thoughts. I tried it once. I'm going to keep trying it, but for four hours, I burnt it continually wanting to smell it, like leaving the room and coming back in and just being like, there's nothing in this room. So I can't imagine if the one wicks perform the same that they're gonna do better in a smaller space either. Um, and I can't imagine that that candle's gonna do very well in my big open concept living room kitchen, which is where I usually burn my three wicks. I typically don't burn three wicks in these smaller rooms. So those are my thoughts. I hope it wasn't too rambly. It wasn't negative. I really wasn't trying to be negative. I wanted to love it more than I did. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. So. Let me know down below, are you going to try sun Sunshine Mimosa or do you have other candles that are new? There's so much coming out. We need a candle sale very soon and I need my store to like catch up and get some of these new candles because uh, the FOMO for me is real. So those are my thoughts. Let me know down below what you're thinking and um, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Take care. Bye.